Hello there, I'm Audrey Hill, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, playing Führerreich and the United Kingdom. We unfortunately failed to take Canal... Oh, what's this? The Second Great War. Oh, boy. People are many is the unavoidable following the peace treaty that remember Germany. Oh, goodness, they're at war with France. Okay, which means I get decisions. Uh, the Second Great War. The so-called Second World and War has been over for only two decades, and already Europe is in flames once more. Do I get to decide? Support Germany, support France. With the war having once more broken across the European mainland. Oh, wow. Which side should we support in this new war? Support France? I don't want to help. Second Great War. Now that we decide to support the French government in the war in Europe, we must decide to which level they should receive support. Those within our government who still harbor some isolationist tendencies have argued we should limit our support for France and send them purely shipments of weapons to the aid in their fight. But well, those more concerned have said we should actually attack. Uh, I don't really want to do any of this. I don't really want to declare war. I don't really want to send them on some of my limited equipment. I have no interest in this right now. Probably shouldn't have done that then. I probably should have waited. If I wanted to help them at a later date. But I don't. I don't want to help anybody. You know? I don't really want to help anybody. I got my own stuff to deal with. I'll invade whomever loses. It's fine. No biggie. Alright, so... We're building the factory still. How are we doing with our equipment losses? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, here we go. Keep training those guys, let's go. Divisions are on their way. Training on as training as they go on their boats. Uh, reburial ceremony for Cecil Rhodes. An ambitious British businessman and prominent imperialist and a man who pushed the boundaries of colonization by establishing the British South Af Africa Company. The company would go on to establish the colonies of Rhodesia and administer the lands of the Balukaland even to this day. A great man whose triumph... Ambitious British businessman, blah 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 blah. The company would go on to establish the colonies of Rhodesia and administer the lands of the Balukaland even to this day. A great man whose triumphant will and national pride led him deep into the heart of Africa with the goal of expanding British control to the areas he explored. It's thanks to him that we stand as the largest empire the world has ever seen. One of his greatest ambitions was the idea of a Cape to Cairo Railroad, and while such an idea never came to fruition in his lifetime, it has recently been realized as the first train set up from the Cape to the Great Journey up the Dark Continent. The greatness of Cecil Rhodes has been remembered at all as all by his reburial ceremony in London. He's been reburied with full honors, with many great guests in attendance, including the king himself, who personally gives speech to the importance of Rhodes' torque to the British. If Rhodes were alive today, he'd be overcome with joy at the extent of the modern British Empire, and if it weren't for him, there may never have been reached such grandeur. Well, that was a bit crap. We got some three infrastructure. So let's, rein let's uh, reinforce the Canadian frontier, with war looking even more increasingly likely between ourselves and the United States. Um, let's spend a bit of time to reinforce the Canadian border of the USA further. Let's do it. Build some troops, yo. Let's go. I'm excited. Unfortunately, we've lost so much political power, but it's all right. We're going to land troops all on the American border and swarm down the East Coast and obliterate them. Sadly, we can't even justify on them. It's very depressing. How are they not even able to hold off the Mexicans, though? Jesus. I actually gave equipment and troops to them as well. John Cobbs has a new auto speed record. The motorist just a John Cobb has set, once again set a land speed record. Hooray! Do I care? Probably not, but still, it's cool. Thanks for the details. Oh, God. Okay, no, we can't. Just build one. Just build one. Just build one division. We don't have enough for that. So, so, stop it. There we go. Oh, no, we need tanks. We need tanks. At least start to get some Matilda tanks or something. God. Okay. So we have almost 400,000 manpower now, which is pretty great. Seven divisions over here. Good men. Keep training. Alright, we still got other divisions here as well. Lovely. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's put the 17 over like... I don't know, hang on. Like this? And draw the line to go to like Chicago and put this 22 like this to go to DC, New York, and all the rest. That'll be fun. 
Do it, boys. I'm excited. We're gonna keep those guys look pretty good. We'll uh we'll train a few of them. Let's put a, let's put these guys over here because these guys are like a super elite force. And I think I want to use them to barrel down Chicago to try to see if I can occupy some of their troops because these guys are gonna be fighting the front line much faster than anyone else. These guys are just gonna be sweeping through raw territory, so they don't need to be as trained. Gonna be fine. Okay, so. Oh wow. <laughs> the Hellenic Republic has absolutely wrecked the Ottomans. Oh, wow. Look at that. And the French and Germans are... Oh, it looks like France is actually winning against the Germans. How? Germans have, like, so many divisions. They have almost, like, one and a half times the divisions. RK Poland. Jesus. All right. U64 Pounder. Let's get... What can we get? It disperse support. There we go. 10% soft attack. Oh, another super heavy battleship. Reinforcing Canadian frontier. Now let's get to hell with Monroe. Uh, the Monroe Doctrine is a ridiculous assertion that once the Americans cannot impose on other nations, we will not limit our reach across the globe because a former colony tells us to. Yeah, you show them. We're trying to deal with our slight infantry equipment deficit. I'm going to keep training those troops. Get them together, boys. Oh, yeah. Recent arms sale. Lovely. Give me those factories. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Washington warns Westminster. This morning, the American ambassador in London issued a note to our government stating that our planned extension of diplomatic influence in America is unacceptable, arguing that our government has nefarious interests in plan to once more bring imperialism to the Americas. They have stated this new policy would not go unanswered. While we did expect a response to the Americans in this matter, it is notable that this is nothing but a basic warning rather than a threat of armed conflict. Okay. Cowardly. Now, finally, demand the Alaskan territories. With many resource prospectors reporting the Alaska's oil deposits scattered throughout the territory, we've recently determined this land must be placed under our control if we're to expand our influence across the Americas. Oh yeah. This will be the first true test of the US government, and they will likely to refuse our demands. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna wreck you guys. Key thing is to just swarm through the US as quickly as possible. The faster we take them, the better. You know what? Actually, it might be better if we do if we do this. Actually. Just try and sweep down to the west coast or something. Like that. And then with these guys. Uh, so we already have a bit too many divisions. So let's get one, two, three. Sorry, just one. There we go. Give them a good general. Someone like William Slim with Trickster. Or this guy. Or this guy. This guy, William Slim. Uh, ooh, we have some bonuses. That I don't want. No thank you. Uh, and we're just going to expand this control area. To be like that. Fantastic. And then this one division that we have here. I will give to Alan Cunningham. And he will just go right there. What I want you to do is to go beeline that for me, buddy. See what you can get. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I think we're going to do quite well. Irish Railroad bombing. Good stuff. Love it. Love a good bombing. Once the tree is near done, it's only seven days to righting old wrongs, and we get to declare war on the US. That's going to be super sweet. Four more divisions here. Get over there, boys. Looking for your equipment, we're looking good. Still building a lot of fighters. Mexican war... Mexican states declared war on Krusop. Who? What? Appears to be a Volkist, like an equivalent of fascist, revolution against the Mexicans. Okay. Whatevs. Construction three. Lovely. Get resource gain efficiency. Nice. Maybe we can try and get a little bit more oil out of that. Okay, boys, here we go. It's almost time. Halfway through. These guys are looking very expert, so I kind of think I maybe have sent the wrong troops to do this, but it's okay. These guys are going to prove their worth. If they've been trained, they're ready. I'm confident in their abilities. Pretty much. Oh, baby. Still about 400,000 manpower. That's pretty good, considering we've managed to recruit, like... 40 total divisions. We could recruit another probably 60 or 70 and be fine. I would like to get these guys to 40 with, though. 
That'd be ideal. To be honest, I can probably get these guys up within once I go to the I'll turn it once once this is done, I will stop training them. That's what I'll do. Alright, there we go. I should have been training you guys to begin with. Whoops. Uh, at the moment we still don't really have planes. There's actually a thousand planes here. Okay. We don't really have many planes though. Hey. Gladiators? What? We're building hurricanes. Where are hurricanes? Where the hell are our hurricanes? I wonder if it's happening. Are they refilling crappy ones? What is happening here? Let's disband all of these air wings. I don't really know what's going on. I'm scared, dazed, and confused. Try that. Do I have any other weird random air wings just kind of sitting around here? If so, that's kind of frustrating. Okay, I think that should be it. There we go. Why do I have 500 gladiators but no hurricanes? I'm building so many a day. I'm building, I'm building like two a day. What is happening? I have no idea. They're upgrading. Oh, they're upgrading the glad. Well, shouldn't they be upgrading to hurricanes? What? What's happening? Well, regardless, let's put what little. No, so we don't really have any planes sufficient to take over America. They'll wreck us, right? Show you they built planes. They do. They have thousands of planes. There's no point in trying to prepare dominance. We'll just push as best we can. All right, demand the Alaskan territories. Writing old wrongs. Over 150 years ago, the American rebels broke free from our rule. With the assistance of the French, today we stand once more on the verge of reforming our dominance over North America. The French are distracted with the Germans, and we have the opportunity, created by the Great Depression, to crush them once and for all. Boom. Oh, he's getting so close to trained. Oh, I'll let him train a little bit more. Come on, you can do it. They're not, they don't need to fight for a while. These guys don't need to train either. The US refuses to hand over stuff. We must back down. This is war! Oh, no more training for us. Let's do it. Engage! Oh, we need to call these guys in. Engage! And Haiti. <laughs> Writing old wrongs. Oh yeah. Okay, so what else can we grab that could help us out? Imperial Federation. Proposed the turn of the century, the idea of an Imperial Federation survived the Great War, but only barely. Actually, no, we should do the Northeastern ones first, I think. I think we it's, I think we have to do these first. Uh, do we get bonuses to make things easier for our fighters? Strategic bomber costs now. Establish the EDIC, construction speed 5% for years. Experts all over the Empire have been trying to help bring together the other economies, the Dominions of our nation. Ideas service to all can agree upon. The Imperial Economic Development Company will serve as Inter-Dominion Corporation, focusing on ensuring the best of each reason is applied to all the rest. You love the new Sweden series, says Jewel Gamer Player. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. I'm really liking it, too. I'm really enjoying it. As I'm recording a new series that's going to replace that when that one runs out. Or rather, no, it's going up alongside it, actually. It's going up alongside it. Rush, Washington. Get them, boys. What are you doing? Press those VPs, man. What are you doing? Get over there. Go to Chicago. Hello? What's the problem here? No, no, no. Just go there. Just go there. What are you doing? Jesus. There we go. I'll start slowly conquering territory. Oh, first naval battles. Here we go. We're wrecking their destroyers. Holy shit. Okay, so, no, we've actually both lost hundreds upon hundreds of destroyers. A, hundred, a couple hundred destroyers have been destroyed so far. And two light cruisers. Okay, three light cruisers. That's good. Casualties are mounting. Come on, super heavy battle cruisers. Where are you? We have 12 battleships. There are 15 battleships. That might be why. Oh, they've retreated. They've retreated. Oh, look at that. We suck a bunch of heavy cruisers. That helps. We lost a bunch of light cruisers, but they lost a bunch of heavies. 
We have lost several hundred destroyers, though. Just several hundred. That's not good. Holy crap. What's their divisions like? Let's take a look. 51. Base value is 74 to our 139. Defensive 360. Yeah, they're wrecked. They are wrecked. Let's go, boys. Okay, why are you all standing here doing nothing? Oh, good. I deleted your front line. God damn it. Okay. That's uh, not what I wanted to do. Really did not want to do that. Whoopsie, poopsie. Okay. Hey, Boston. Then take New York. Just uh, keep rushing down, boys. See if you can rush to Philly. There we go. Okay. Uh, Eastern Seaboard Naval Combat. Still, apparently. Jesus Christ, look at this. It's a lot of heavy cruisers. Lost three battleships. They've lost a lot of battleships, too. It's going to be a big battle. The second IRB rising. While our nation prepares for total war of our new enemy, the Senate has begun to serve our nation. The Irish Republican Brotherhood, a persistent thorn in our side since the Great War, has organized, so I should have definitely removed them before I did any war. Crap. Local garrisons in Cork and Dublin are being overrun by regular troops and some highly professional soldiers looking fierce rebellion response from abroad. Shit. Ah, uh, damn it. Now we're at War of Ireland. The second IRB uprising. Ah, well, that's that's a goner. Well, let's see if you can hold it off. Let's see what you guys can do. I believe in you, boys. Can you hold this? Can you hold Belfast? You know what? We're just going to have to hold Belfast. So uh, That's all we can do. No chance of much else. Oh boy. Get on over there, boys. Give you a new general. Someone defensible. There you go. I believe in you. That's your job. You're gonna hold that line. You will hold that gosh darn line. We will send divisions to help you out. Right now. How many troops do the Republicans have? They actually have a fair amount of soldiers. It's not great. Let's recruit some more. Let's get some more soldiers then. Put them literally just there. Good. Just one. My god. Lots of ships on low naval strength right now. Help them out, boys. Jesus H. How are we doing? U.S. is crumbling, which is great. Oh, look, Bangor. The home of, uh... Or the one-time home of, uh, Stephen... 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 King. There we go. <laughs> I can remember his name. Okay, good. Keep going. Looks like we've won the naval battles. That's nice. Pushing deep. Pushing hard. We now have an infantry equipment deficit, unfortunately. Is not ideal. New York has been taken. I repeat, New York has been taken. Rush that Washington, my friend. See what you can do. Alright, this is good. Just keep taking the northeast seaboard. What is this? Why are there five divisions here? Son of a... Fine, just go like this. Just go. Go. Engage. Fast. Okay, good. Whatever. Reinforce, boys! Hold that line. You can do it. I know you can. I believe in you. Okay, new research slots. What do we want? What do we want? Let's get artillery. No ships. Yes, actually. 
Better carriers is not a bad choice. But I kind of wish I built more navy stuff for the for this fight. Holy crap, look at this. So, a defeat, apparently. Wow. Well, it doesn't really matter because we got the ships here anyway. Get over there. And get the American West Indies fleet out of there as well. Get retreating, boys. We did lose quite a lot. Battle Barney 12 VA. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me. We are pushing real deep on these guys. Okay, what are you doing, man? Get over there to get to... Okay, we're taking DC. Oh, that was easy. That was very easy. Okay. The Dawes. What is up? Oh, it's Madry Bread with a raiding party. What's up, my friend? Welcome back to the stream. How you doing, guys? The bread has sent you. The first thing I hear is that you're retreating. Shut up, okay? It happened. I had got into a fight I couldn't couldn't handle. They had naval supremacy, MDB. I couldn't take it. Oh, boy. Thanks for the follow to Jin Bane's Battle Barney and Strange Stash. Love it. Today was confirmed by the British government. Oh, the follow notifications rolling in. Love it. What's up, man? What is up, Anthony? Uh, Port Fortress of Aqua, the occupied American capital of DC. They stated that although captioning was a great success, it, uh, oh god, inevitable American collapse. White House once more being put to torch in the repeat of what occurred in 1812. Yeah, burn the White House! Woo! British plans for US occupation are unknown to the world at large. Oh, I know. Looks like they're gonna capitulate pretty quick. I don't know why I fought that naval battle then. I basically just threw away my ships. Thank you so much for that follow there, guys. Really appreciate that. Lobo doesn't retreat, it can only sail forward. I shouldn't have fought that battle at all, to be honest. Oh, Washington captured. Reports from North American front lines indicate that British troops successfully captured DC. Stubbornly defended by tens of thousands of soldiers, the siege of Washington required every weapon in the armed forces to win. Beginning of a lengthy air bombardment for, I don't know how many planes, of entrenched positions throughout the city, and accompanied by a similar bombardment from the Royal Navy, the British troops moved slowly through the streets of DC before finally taking the American defenders out. We're playing in the Führerreich mod, which is really good. Separations are limited as American partisans almost immediately began attacking British convoys. Three da the does. Thank you for the follow, buddy. In retaliation and repetition of the War of 1812, we plundered and set fire to the White House in an act of vengeance. The blaze who continued well into the night, with American citizens looking on in solemn silence. The war in America is far, with, oh, far from over, but yeah, we've won. Oh boy. That's going to be this episode as well. I'm recording this live for YouTube, hence why I'm doing my YouTube intro and outro. I was Algernon, I continue to be, and this has been some Hearts of Iron 4 Führerreich as the United Kingdom. Bye-bye. <laughs>